Today, for the first time, a robot submarine began scouring the bottom of the Indian Ocean for Malaysia Flight 370. It's looking where several pings were heard that may have come from the plane's flight recorders. The batteries on those pingers are likely dead now, 38 days since the plane and 239 people vanished. Here's Seth Doan. Monday, search teams deployed the Bluefin 21, an unmanned underwater vehicle equipped with sonar. The submersible will paint a virtual picture of the ocean floor. Captain Mark Matthews is in charge of the U.S. Navy's salvage operation. Our mission right now is to go look at the higher priority areas and to see if there's any debris there and just continue to, to keep hitting those, those small areas uh, to see what we see on the bottom. The Bluefin 21 is working in 24-hour cycles. It takes two hours to reach the ocean floor, 15,000 feet below the surface. The submersible will scan the seabed for 16 hours and draw up a picture of the environment looking for wreckage. When it returns to the ship, the Ocean Shield, investigators will spend four hours downloading and analyzing the data it collected. On its first mission, the Bluefin 21 is surveying 16 square miles, an area about two-thirds the size of Manhattan. Authorities will redefine the search area and redeploy the sub. Angus Houston is in charge. It may be very difficult to find something, and you don't know uh, how good any lead is until you get your eyes on the wreckage. The submersible's first mission did not go exactly as planned. After completing about six hours of its ocean floor scan, Bluefin 21 exceeded its operating depth limit of 15,000 feet, and a built-in safety feature returned it to the surface. The data it collected is now being evaluated and analyzed. Seth Doan, CBS News, Beijing.